Let's go straight to Andrew Clonell, our political editor, to look at Gladys Berejiklian, who remains under scrutiny on a few different fronts. We'll get to the news conference, which you attended in a moment. But first of all, question time. Did she get through it OK or did she look weak and under the pump? Oh, almost both. I, I, I'm going to sit on the fence here for a change, Kieran, and say, look, she did get through it OK, but she looks weakened as a leader, in my view, and, and she is under the pump. And I, I think... Uh, a, a lot of it, in terms of her short-term future, the Premier, comes down to this evidence from Daryl Maguire at ICAC tomorrow. And I guess how much they ask him about Gladys Berejiklian. He's, he's up for two days. A lot of it will be around his dealings with developers and so forth. How much will council assisting ask about his relationship with Gladys Berejiklian? said yesterday uh, that uh, they may have to call her again, depending on Maguire's evidence. They didn't think that would be the case, but they may have to. That's what Council Assisting said yesterday. And I guess there is an opportunity there, given the nature of the conversations we've heard on those phone taps, for Daryl Maguire to get Gladys Berejiklian in more trouble. So, I mean, we await that with interest. But meanwhile, the opposition was doing its bit in question time to blow, apply the blowtorch in, into why she knew about her MP and, and, and ex-lover uh, essentially lobbying for developers while an MP, a highly unusual and questionable practice, haven't really heard of it before, it has scandal written all over it, and she didn't report any of it. But at all times, at all times, I've acted in accordance with the highest levels of accountability. Order! Order! You think if you say it, it will be true? Leader of the Opposition, you asked a question of the Premier. Do you want to hear the answer? You will sit here in silence and listen now you've asked the question. Madam Speaker, I will continue, I will con continue to be full and frank. And, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I wish to say that at all times, at all times I have and always will put the public interest first. Madam Deputy Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Let's talk about you being full and frank. Do you in have July a question? 2018, Do you have a question? In July 2018, it took you eight days to take action against Daryl Maguire after he was required to give evidence to ICAC over his dealings with property developers. Why did you conceal at that time what you knew of his business dealings from ICAC? You concealed it for two years. Why, Order. Premier? You've answered the question. From memory, I was actually away at the time and uh, rang oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Order. Member for Swansea. Uh, Member for Kira. Uh, Madam, I'm answering the question directly and uh, rang him and asked him for his resignation, I think within an After hour. After eight days. Leader no, no. of the Opposition. That is actually incorrect. He actually resigned from the Parliamentary Liberal Party that day. Yeah, we're talking he about went to Leader the of the Party. Opposition, you asked yeah. the question. My best recollection is that he actually resigned that day and if you look up the records you will find that I asked for his resignation that day. Order, Member for Port Stephens. And Member for Port Stephens, you're on a call. Order. And, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I make this point. Member for Kiri, you're on two calls. I make this point. At any stage, at any stage, had, had myself or I'm sure any of my colleagues or the public servants who were in contact with him picked up that there was any wrongdoing, oh it would have been reported.